Tariq may not have tried to kill you, but he's still a monster. They say you're a monster. Lauren, look, if you want your old life back, you need to help me. I don't want to end up like you. If you refuse to cooperate, Cooper, your confession about bringing a gun to truth will be used against you. What's up, Power fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about the trailer for episode 7, what Tariq means by they made a monster out of him, and the secret Braden is set to uncover. I'll also be touching on Sax and Jenny's blackmail. If you haven't watched my recent videos on episode 6 yet, do check them out after this video. I'll leave the link in the description below. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section. If you have already subscribed, thanks for the support. Now let's get straight into the topics. The synopsis for episode 307 titled Deal or No Deal. And it reads, Tariq team up with Pete to plot retaliation after an attack puts the street operation on pause. Monet makes a play to re-establish control over the business. Braden uncovers a secret that could jeopardize everything. Now, we are going to start with the possible secrets Braden can find. Question is, what are the secrets so far? The first one is Monet set Lorenzo up with Goro and he was killed. We as viewers know about this, but only Monet and Goro are the two characters that know about this secret in the meantime. But the question is, could this be a secret Braden can uncover easily? Let me know what you think before I move on to the second secret in the comment section. Now, the second secret to uncover is the fact that Lauren is still alive and Tariq knows about it. Again, could this be a secret Braden is likely to uncover? Something tells me it is possible Braden eavesdropped on Tariq when he was making these calls with Lauren at work. We heard Tariq mentioning Lauren's name so it can be possible that Braden sneaked on him and heard him talking to her. Now, if Tariq wants to talk to Lauren at the office, I know he will excuse himself to a place where no one can listen to their conversation. So maybe by trying to isolate himself, he ended up at a place where Braden was and overheard him speaking and mentioning Lauren's name. Either that or alternatively, Kiki heard him speaking to Lauren and she asked Braden if his girlfriend's name is Lauren instead of Effie. Now, hypothetically speaking, let's assume this is the secret Braden will uncover in episode 7. What do you think he will do with this information? He is on the recording as well as Kane, so no matter what, Braden will find himself in trouble again now that Lauren is still alive. So let me know what you think Braden will do if this happens to be the secrets he will uncover in episode 7. Now before we move on, I want us to digest this issue. That is a whole investigation on all of us because of the stupid shit you did. What I did? Yeah. Nigga, as far as I know, ain't none of that Lauren shit's coming back on me. Now, when Lauren was exposed that she was wearing wire around Kane and Braden, Efe informed Kane about it. Kane then assigned Braden to take care of it else he will take care of him, Braden. I gave you a gun, rich kid. Use it. I mean, if you don't, we both know what I got to do. To Lauren? To you. So Braden got scared for his life and not for Lauren's life. So he was planning to take care of Lauren before, coincidentally, Tariq asked him to send Lauren away. Yo, Rick, what up? Yo, B, I need you right now. There's some crazy shit going on. Yeah, bro, I got you. Hey, look, I need you to get Lauren to take her out of town for me. I shall explain the rest to you later. Yeah, bro, no problem. Now, Tariq's request changed the whole dynamics of the situation for Braden. And Efe did what she wanted to do, and they all think Lauren is dead. Now, back to Kane's statement. Is there any way that he can actually be accused for trying to kill Lauren? Or there is only an assumption that if Kane finds Lauren, he will kill her for wearing wire around him. I know this is very debatable and at the same time, straightforward. On one hand, I think Kane is right. Lauren's death cannot lead back to him because he only threatened Braden and there is no evidence that he was involved. Matter of fact, it is Kane's words against Braden's. So for me, I think Kane is right that Lauren's death cannot lead back to him. I don't know about you, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now, are there more any secrets? Let me guess. Tariq told Braden that they need Norma's picture from Efe to find her daughter and that is the only way they can exit Norma's control. As we speak, it's only Braden that can have access to Efe for now more than Tariq without thinking that he's up to something. So what I'm thinking is maybe Braden tried getting the picture from Efe and discovered something more than the picture. Well, we all know when Efe went to the secret room in Francesco's mansion during their trip to Italy, we didn't see everything that happened. She only came back with the picture. But one thing for sure is that whatever secret Braden will discover is either we the audience already know or we don't know at all. And same with most of the characters. 
So this will play out in two ways. Now, what is another secret Braden can possibly find out? Tariq ran his mouth to Ife that he killed his own father. This is an information we the audience are privileged to. But come to think of it, Braden doesn't know Tariq shot his father and this could be another secret he can find out maybe through Efe. Because I believe Efe will find a way to hurt Tariq. So could this secret be that Braden found out Tariq shot his father? Could it be the reason why he said in one of the trailers that I don't want to end up like you? So what are you going to do for this family? I don't want to end up like you. So what are you going to do for this family? I don't want to end up like you. Let me know what you think about this as well in the comment section. So far, these are the top secrets I can think of. If you have something else in mind, you know what to do. Just drop that in the comment section. Let's discuss. Now, let's move on to Tariq as a monster. In the episode 7 trailer, we heard Tariq telling Lauren if she wants her whole life back, she has to help him. But in response, Lauren was telling him that they said he is a monster. Now, this monster idea was planted by Sax when he had one-on-one -on -one with Lauren. Tariq may not have tried to kill you, but he's still a monster. Now from where I sit, Lauren is confused as to who she's going to trust. The first are going to get deep into her head against Tariq and Tariq will equally do his best to keep confusing her. Tariq responded that, well, if I am a monster, I was only made into one. Well, if I'm a monster, I was made into one. Now, Tariq is not saying that his father and mother raised him to become a monster. I think what he's telling Lauren here is that people think he is a monster because of who his father was. I was made into one here means the perception out there about him because of his background is what makes everyone think of him as a monster. And to him, the feds cook up every story about his involvement in drugs on campus, the guy who died in the pool, Jabari's death, etc. All these accusations are the reasons why he is described as a monster. I believe Tariq is going to try hard to convince Lauren that they think he is a monster because all these things happened around him. And on top of that, they are using his father's past to tag him as a monster too. Also, there is a reason Power adopted certain songs of Jacob Banks in the first place. Typical example of such tracks is Monster. They made a monster out of me. You should listen and pay attention to the lyrics of that track. There might be some clues in there. Anyways, let's move on. Now, I feel Lauren will see or hear something strange about Tariq and conclude that they just want to arrest Tariq not because he's guilty of any charges. Because already, she started asking Sachs why he dropped Jabari's case against him. I feel Lauren in there will become a great informant to Tariq and probably we will see Jenny go down for some dirt. Now let's talk about Sachs' watch. Now talking about Sachs, he said his watch was a gift. Now one thing we should know about power is when it comes to giving a clue, watches are key things they can use. From 2 beats watch which belongs to Ghost to Lauren wearing a watch which had a recorder and now Sachs has a watch that was a gift. Question is. Who gifted Sax the watch? Well, I hope it's not Jenny, else Sax is in trouble. Now, let me know in the comments section if you have any ideas who might have gifted Sax this watch. But then again, it could be nothing after all. It was a gift. Now, still on Sax and Jenny, in the trailer, we hear Sax asking Jenny if there is someone in the DA's office that could possibly leak information to Tariq. Now, I believe this came after Davis asked Sachs about the investigation on Tariq concerning Lauren. Listen, have you heard anything about an investigation in Lauren Baldwin's death? Foul play? What have you heard? Tariq said that there's an investigation into Lauren Baldwin's death. Look, we need to know if Tariq's name is coming up. This information got to Tariq through Lauren, but none of them knows. Jenny might suspect Lauren, but because there isn't any outburst about Lauren is still alive, she will find it difficult to believe that Tariq knows Lauren is alive and didn't tell anyone about it by now. This situation will get Jenny scratching her head for a minute. Now, potentially, she might think it is Tate. Now, I don't know if Tate's brother is still working there, but Jenny might be quick to point fingers at the Tate brothers for leaking some information to Tariq. That is, if she isn't sure that Lauren leaked her own existence to Tariq. Let me know what you also think in the comment section about this. Now, alternatively, Maybe they got some leads on Tariq's operation and Lauren gave him a tip about what they are coming to do. Maybe a raid or something. So Tariq had a change of plan and diverted the Fed's attention to some shipping yard. Maybe that's where he realized enormous people are watching him 
and the first two are closely monitoring him. That is why he's saying things are hot around him now. Everywhere I go, there's eyes on me. I'm hot as fuck right now. Now, moving on to Jenny blackmailing Sachs. I've realized in the comment section, people are still confused about why after the court case with Tariq, when he established that Sachs was at truth with gun, got fired on top, and this is becoming a case for Sachs again. Now, this is a misunderstanding, and here is what you are missing. When Tariq stated that he saw Sachs that night with a gun, Sachs responded that he was there in official capacity, which we all know Sachs was lying. Did you see your mother, Tasha St. Patrick, at Truth Nightclub the night your father was killed? No, but I did see you there with a gun. I don't know what gun you're talking about, but I was there in my official capacity. Now, what Jenny wants to use against Sachs now is the fact that he confessed to her about going to Truth with a gun to kill ghosts before someone got him first. If you refuse, to cooperate, Cooper, your confession about bringing a gun to truth will be used against you. This is a confession to an attempted murder which Jenny can stand on to destroy Sachs if he messes up. And he knows what this means, that's why he didn't argue with her when she made the threat. So in summary, what Sachs said in court is totally different from his admission to Jenny. I hope this is clear to you now. Now, we also see Godot having the balls to think that he has money in his pocket. So when she asks him to back off Drew, he said he will continue seeing Drew. Well, I need not to tell you that Goro just signed his death warrant with Monet. Now, we all know the history between the two of them, so there's no need I go over it. But this is the time Monet needs to act smart and intellectually. First off, why is Monet telling Goro to back off Drew? She is scared that if her son goes deep with him like Everett, his exposure to the truth will be high and she can't afford getting caught by her children for having a hand in their father's death. She also doesn't want Drew's heart broken if she decides to kill Goro. Now, if Monet is planning to take Goro out, she needs to make sure that her son is not with him in order for him not to catch any stray bullet meant for Goro. Now, we all expect Goro to rat on Monet to Drew about Lorenzo. Yes, that is the expectation, but that will also mean that both Goro and Monet will catch the same bullet. Another expectation is that Monet will be quick to rat on Goro to Drew so that he can take him out. Now, if this happens and Drew doesn't kill Goro on sight but allow some conversation to go on about the subject, Goro might speak the truth before Drew kills him. Now, my question is, is Monet smart enough to think about these possibilities if she decides to rat on Goro to Drew? Now, I have some few theories about this Monet and Goro situation and how it can possibly play out. Now, if Monet had the aftermath in mind before setting Lorenzo up with Goro, then this is what I think she possibly did proud to the murder. Now, hypothetically speaking, how about when Monet was setting up Lorenzo with Goro, she gave him the location and where to get Lorenzo. Then Monet hired a photographer or someone else to take pictures of Goro committing the crime so that in situations like this where Goro is trying to play smart and stubborn with her, she will have these pictures delivered to Drew or any of her children. When Drew sees these pictures, he will feel disgusted about sleeping with the same person who killed his father. Then Drew will not say any word before putting bullets in Goro and Goro will be dead before having the chance to rat on Monet. Or let's say, I know this may sound funny but it's a theory. Let's say Monet brings Everett back to meet Drew and Goro in bed. It becomes messy in the room, Goro dead Everett, and Drew couldn't hesitate to shoot Goro too. Then the case is closed, Monet's secrets die with Goro. This particular option will make Monet get away with Lorenzo's death. But I know there is high expectation for her to get caught, so I believe this option might not work. So maybe the writers will not even consider it. Or maybe unless the writers want Monet clean on Lorenzo's death. Let me know what you also think in the comment section about Goro and Monet and everything I spoke about concerning the trailer. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell to get notified on my next videos, like, share, most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.